In communication, using the right and wrong words can dramatically change the message we want to transmit. There are three words we should know how to use since they have a strong power to influence. They are and, but, and although. These words have to be used properly in their context since their meanings are perceived differently. When someone uses the word but, people tend to remember what comes after it. If I say, James is a hardworking person but untidy, others will remember that James is untidy. When someone uses the word although, people usually remember better what goes before it. If I say, James is a hardworking person although he is untidy, others will retain the fact that James is hardworking. When the word and is used, people frequently retain what is said before and after it. If I say James is a hardworking person and untidy, the other person will hold on to both messages. In practice, we must take into account the strength of these three words and use them properly. A person who is constantly using but is placing objections, emphasizing always the negative side of things. If you want to influence people in a positive manner, you could reformulate your sentences using less but and replacing them with and, before then following up with a question. For instance, instead of saying we could have a meeting at 7pm but then we will finish very late, we could reformulate it in the following way. We could start the meeting at 7pm and if we extend it, would this be positive or counterproductive? If someone has to make two distinct realities clear, but wants to stress the positive without hiding the negative, he can often use although. For instance, we have obtained many benefits, although cash flow has been reduced. Try to practice the proper use of these words, without forgetting to use an appropriate tone of voice, which should correspond to the purpose we are aiming for.